All right, on the launch pad. Seems pretty good, huh? Now, it looks to me like maybe we could run additional signs, potentially. If I, if I hit this button, I'm wondering if we run any radiation uh, experiments while we're here. I'm curious about that. So it looks like an experiment is in progress. We might be able to get some radiation readings or something uh, from this. I have no idea. It looks like it's taking a lot of electric charge to do that, but this is a station we're launching, so there's plenty of electric charge so that it can run experiments and science and all that stuff on the dark side of of, uh, of any planet. We want to make sure there's a lot of electric charge. And uh, I would like to click this and see. So it's running the the radiation observation right now. Very cool. We can't run anything with the Star Lab yet because we're not in orbit. But once we get to low orbit, we can figure out what the Star Lab experiment is if we want to as well. So radiation observation status nearly completed. This is landed. And I'm curious if we can also run the same experiment while we're lift like while we're taking off. So I'll probably keep this open just to see. All right. Radiation done. And it's only going to worth 16 science, but hey, we can get it. So. Go ahead and transmit that right now. And then uh, we're ready to go ahead and lift off. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the spacebar button now. Okay. And we're ready for the countdown okay. while we're transmitting. Okay. There we go. Okay. We don't need this crew observation, so we could get rid of that. There we go. That's all done. And here we go. We can now run another radiation scan at this point, too. I don't know whether it'll work, but we're going to run it right now. Let's go ahead and tilt ourselves over just a little bit here. And we're running signs while we go up. Here we go. Let's push, 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 push. Uh, let's keep ourselves a little under control here, though. A little squirrely. And we're going to just lean ourselves in a little bit this way. We want to do this carefully. We don't want to go too far. Let's just do it in little steps. Baby steps, if you will. We have a lot of control authority here, so... Do just little changes at a time. Oh, that's a little too much. Too much change. Back off. Back off. There we go. And of course, we've already drained these tanks with our resources and stuff with those, those fuel tanks. Already drained them. So very nice. We are not tilted nearly enough. I need to go. <laughs> Get over. I think it's. I'm done being careful now. Let's go. Push this thing that way. There we go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. That direction. And we can... It looks like we can maybe run another one here. We want to go horizon, right? That's it. Everything is horizon right now. Let's go ahead and get rid of... We don't need to burn that engine. Let's get rid of this. Excellent. And now we just coast to 90-something. Everything seems good. And we got a radiation measurement uh, in the atmosphere. Yep, there's a different atmos a different atmospheric one right here. Uh, I am, I don't want to do this. Come on, come on, come on. Point, point prograde, please. Point prograde. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and transmit this one while we can. I'm just gonna burn a little bit just so I can keep this thing under control. There we go. All right. And again, we have so much fuel on this to guarantee we get where we want to go. And uh, what's the next stage? I want to have this be the next stage. So we're going to bring this down. And we'll do this next. And uh, I pretty, pretty much should be able to just right-click the thing and do it, but I'm going to hit spacebar instead. So let's get rid of it there. Off it goes. Very good. Now we're going to want to point towards horizon here if we can control it. I do have a little bit of reaction control, but most of my control on this craft at least for this stage, because it's so heavy down here, is uh, with the, the engine vectoring. And uh, since we're in space now, we can go ahead and spread our wings, literally. There we go. Ah, beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Love it. All right, let's... Uh, I guess it's figuratively, isn't it? Because they're definitely not wings. All right, so we should be able to very easily get to, to space with this. Like, holy crap. This is going to be very, very easy. And it's okay if we burn too far. We're on the day side. The day side is the side we want to burn on for our maneuver anyway. So if we burn too far, uh, it'll just put our apoapsis on the other side of the planet, which is exactly where we want it to be anyway. Oh, look at this. 
What are you doing? Oh, this is the station science. I just hit the science button, but you're doing this. Okay. Sure, man. Yeah. You go right ahead and do all the station science you want. Shit. That's awesome. Let me check that out, man. So that takes about six minutes to run these orbital surveys, but might as well run it. We're going to be in space. We're going to be in orbit for a little bit. So yeah, run it, run it, run it. So our apoapsis is a little high here. I don't really like how high this is, but it's okay. We have to deorbit the stage anyway. So we're going to go ahead and start throttling this back here. Yeah, we'll throttle this back here and we'll just go to decouple this right now, I think. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get rid of that stage. And then this one will circularize the orbit. So this is what we're going to Eve with is right here, but that's pretty good. So radiation readings in Kurt Kerbin low orbit is worth 96 science. We can go ahead and transmit that now if we want to as well. Very, very cool. We can go ahead and expand or extend our commutatron. And by pulling that out, we should see the data transfer rate speed up. At least I thought it would. It looks like it's going a little faster. Yeah. Because this adds an extra two and a half units of transfer on our science and stuff. So we should have that. I love how this is like lit up and stuff. Like there's purple and whatever going on right here. We got the, what is it, like a magnetometer kind of thing going on right here. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. There's a little bit of an influence from D Magic on this, I think, uh, with uh, the, the mod for KSP1. They had D Magic Orbital Science, I believe is what the, the mod is called. And they had experiments that did these things. And I don't know what the scientific accuracy behind them are, but I assume since they're they're both doing the same thing that. But you're making me take like five, six minutes to run it, which is, is fine. This is why we have all dwarf Kerbin is is in there right now. Uh, running that stuff. All apparently the science type. Valentina's more of a pilot. That makes sense. All right, we got two minutes until we reach Apoapsis, and honestly, it's not a... Like, I really want to have... Oh, we're actually falling down now. Oh, did I go too far? Wait, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Eh? Sea level. I'm going up, aren't I? Wait a minute. I didn't reach that yet. Uh, I might have. It looks like I may have actually reached Apoapsis already, and I'm just not paying attention, so... Let's go ahead and raise. Raise this up. And actually, let's um, we'll go ahead and point uh, directly up. We can we can shift our orbit a little bit here. I just want to shift it. Actually, I'm at 114 now anyway, so whatever. I don't need to worry about shifting it, do I? Let's just let's just go. Let's just point where we need to point here. And just be in space. Let's just get in space. We're not in space now. And the periapsis should be opposite of us ish so that's on the dark side perfect uh no not perfect that's the that's the wrong way we definitely want that to shift yeah 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 we want the apoapsis to be on this side and the periapsis on this side so this is not very efficient the way we're building here uh we're, the way we're going to be burning it's not very efficient um i could maybe again just kind of i could transition this a little bit i burn uh directly up from the surface and that would uh that would raise this side while lowering this side. I could shift it relatively cheaply, I think. We're at 3557. So let's just give that a try. If I was to go ahead and burn exactly up from the surface, we should see these things kind of start shifting a little bit. And that's fine. It's That's okay. We'll just deal with what we got. Okay, so that's us our wonderful station and we've already ran I think anyway we've run the science already for the orbital survey let's take a look and see what that's about um did we did we run it already radiation crew observations did it not run I'm not sure why it's not running it's if I cancel it I don't want to cancel it though I want it to run Maybe I can't. That's not crew observations, is it? Because that's really lame if it is. Like if that if that's a crew, the science equipment's not out anymore. 
So if I cancel this, it says pause, but if I cancel it and I run it again, you'll let me run now, right? Six, yeah, six minutes though. Even though I've already done it though. So speed up time. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it gets paused. It's, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. It's, it's still low orbit. I'm not sure why it wouldn't continue. Maybe it's not functional. Maybe it's not working. Maybe it does it not work in, in time acceleration. It's, it's very confusing. I should be able to run this thing for continuous six minutes, right? Oh, you know what I didn't put on this craft? Well, okay, I did put some. I put these little strip lights. I got these lights. I've got lights in this part. So there is some lights on this thing. Uh, but man, did I want to put more lights on this thing? I think it's almost worth going back <laughs> and launching it again just to get lights on this thing. Or we can make sure that future modules that we launch for this have lights. Uh, we at least have crew lights. So at least you can see some things. If I do time acceleration here, I'm just... I'm just curious on why that would... The only thing I can think of is because, I, like, maybe the difference between low orbit and high orbit, right? Maybe over 100 kilometers is considered high orbit. Maybe that's why it quit. No? I don't think so, because we're still in low and it just stopped again. So I think over a certain amount of time acceleration, it doesn't work. I'm not sure what's going on there. What I am sure about, though, is that uh, we want to burn to Eve. So we're going to start maybe right about here. I think is an okay spot. Just plan the maneuver. It's about four and a half minutes away. We're just going to go straight out from here on the day side this time. And we go prograde on the day side. We should start going uh, closer to the sun. So let's uh, take a look. And we want to have Eve as our target. And uh, I want to get my marker back, if I can, please. Thank you. And we're going to burn prograde. Bring ourselves in, and let's see where we end up here. Okay, that's not bad. 1A, 2B, or 1, yeah, 1A and 1B right there. So if I go just a little bit more, and I bring them close enough together, it's very close. I'd like to maybe shift the timing a little bit. That's very close. I think if I shift the orbit, if I shift the burn timing a little bit, maybe we bring it, I don't even know what to, to, to bring it, like the way this interface is. Um, I can kind of see it over there, 1A, 1B. So if I go this way, it brings them closer together. Yeah, right about there then is what I want, right about there. So if I just burn a little bit more from that point, no? Maybe it's an inclination change is what I need. No, that's definitely an encounter. There we go. Uh, let's, let's face that in case the timer goes at me here. But we're going to focus on Eve really quick. And uh, I want to make some adjustments here. So we're way up at the top part of that. And that's not really where I want to be. So let's bring this out. That should drop us down a little bit. And then uh, from there, I want to get closer to Eve. So we're going to go retrograde. We're going to need to go just a little bit less. Oh, it's not going to be an encounter. So never mind. Uh, you know what? We can just tweak this when we get out of here, can't we? As long as we have an encounter, we're good. Yeah. I think we'll just tweak this once we... Once we get up on into space. Make an adjustment burn then. I think so. Okay. So our burn is 35 seconds long because we have a really good thrust to weight ratio. All things very good here. I mean, I can tell this thing to run the orbital survey, but it just does not seem to want to. Which is a real shame, you know? I mean, we're going to have our own station above Kerbin later anyway. But, you know, we're low desert. Maybe it's maybe it's biome specific? It doesn't say that, though. It shouldn't be. Because it's an orbital thing. It should be... It should just work in orbit. Maybe the high orbit one will work. But I was really hoping the low orbit one would work. Let's try it. Let's try it again. Just to see what happens. And then if I... If I time accelerate a little bit here... Again, I don't know whether this, the time acceleration is what's messing it up. Or if it's just a biome thing. We're going to burn in a little bit here, so it'll probably mess it up too. But I don't know. We'll see. 
If we don't get it, we'll just get it later because it's this Kerbin. So the reason why we're sending this is to, to go to Eve. All right, three, two, one, burn. 35 seconds of acceleration to get to where we want to go. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and focus on Eve so that I can see this thing. And of course, we're going to want to slow it down. It's very, very close to just not being an encounter at all here. So we might have to make an adjustment just to get the encounter, but at least we're close enough with this burn to where the adjustment will be very cheap later. I think that's probably good enough, honestly. I know it's not an actual encounter right now, but it's so close that I think it can be. And for some reason, it's telling me to clear target. But Yeah, it's not showing me the points anyway. So I need to get over there and have those points showing because they're not... Sh if I clear the target and then do set target again. Yeah, I think I need to be in solar orbit before it actually shows me things, but it's okay. We're we're making our way to Eve, and that's the only thing that counts. We're going good enough. That's my that's my full sentence. We're going good enough. All right, so this counts as uh, low orbit. We'll most likely get to high orbit before this thing can finish. Yeah, it instantly cancels, so I don't know what's going on with that. It doesn't seem like it works in orbit the way it now we're in high. So now we're considered high above space, high orbit. Let's try it again. This time from high orbit, we should be able to run extra experiments as well as a new radiation study should also be able to run here too, I think. So if we run the radiation observation at the same time, all the things should be able to get run at the same time here. And uh, did we bring... No, I don't believe we brought the science junior with us that i missed up on i didn't bring it with me which is okay because that science is mostly just like physical samples to bring back anyway so if we go and do something else uh for retrieval we can uh well you know when we go and bring another stage up to this this place whatever another craft to this thing we'll be able to uh run that then yeah so this just paused again it's just like it doesn't uh i don't know i'm disappointed man what if this doesn't work what if the survey just doesn't work you know they can't resume i wonder if it has to do with the actual kerbal maybe the kerbal it's themselves need to be i don't know are they just tired of running it do they need a break every once in a while it, i guess i probably should read the description of this part because it doesn't seem like yeah, crew observations. This is a, uh, again, this radiation study just quit too. And we didn't get the credit for it. It's not in the marker here. So that quit as well. I have to rerun that now. Is it because I hit the button? I don't know. No, it just pauses itself. Hmm. I'm not sure, guys. I'd love your opinion on uh, what you think it could be. Why, why would why would experiments stop? You know, it can't be a biome thing. I mean, if it is a biome thing, that's really stupid, and it might actually be a freaking biome thing. Look, we just uh, went over the grasslands. It changed. It stopped when we got over the grass. Oh, that's silly. Oh, that they need to change that. Then that's the reason why it's not working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's not working because it's changing the biome down here. So now we're over water. We're going to be over water for a while, actually. Maybe we uh, maybe we try this again. Now that we're going to be over water for a very long time, uh, maybe we'll get this stuff done. Because Kerbin, high orbit water. It's not supposed to be a biome-specific study. No, it just stopped again. Mountains. Wow, man. So if we go back to the water, does it continue? It can be resumed once we res once we get back over the water, though. It can be resumed right where it left off. Yeah, so they need to change these these experiments that are biome-specific uh, in space. It shouldn't matter if the desert's over top of me or if the water's over... Like, that's not going to affect the radiation. <laughs> so that kind of stuff can change. But now at least we know what it is. So the radiation study can be done. 
and that's worth 192 science definitely worth doing you know i want to see what this is worth and water is the biggest biome so we should probably do this over the water if you're trying to do this yourself over low orbit and all that stuff choose water as your biome i guess because that's the one you're gonna have the most time over so there we go time acceleration this experiment keeps going and it is now done okay so what do we get for that another 168 science these are survey samples and then we also have the survey data so we can transmit the data but the samples must be recovered but that's only 168 science anyway but still there's something that needs to be recovered on this station which means we do need to at least visit it with something else that's going back to Kerbin at some point, which makes sense because uh, Valentina and Aldorf are here and they would like to go back home to Kerbin at some point too. <laughs> so at some point we will get this science, which leads me to be a little bit meh about not bringing the science junior, but uh, it is what it is. All right. I need to see how many days. This is the hard part. So we're going to be three days to get there and my jewel sat. Let me just real quick control the jewel sat because I need to know where this thing is going to be. Uh, this thing has 28 days until it gets there. Okay. So we got time. That's good to know. Let's go back to Kerbin then. Uh, zoom out. Go back to our craft on Kerbin. I don't know if it's default name. Fly safe 10. I don't think that's it. Didn't we name this? We did name, right? name it to like eve sat or whatever eve eve station yeah exactly we definitely named the eve station all right here we are nope that's not it that is the wrong craft uh did i not did i not pick the right one uh focus on this come in there's fly safe there's eve station 12. right E station 12 yes control E station 12. there we go all right i do think it's a definite improvement and switching between crafts in this game but i kind of wish i could pull up a list of crafts somewhere like give me a list and then i can select one uh something that's tabbed and grouped very similar to how the tracking station does it maybe just a little bit more organized uh a little like filterable right i think would be good so anyway, we have like 28 days or something for the other one to get there around uh, Jewel. So let's go ahead and leave Kerbin's space here real quick. And then we can also run the same experiments we did over the sun as well. I doubt there's a whole lot of difference in uh, the surface biomes of the sun. But who knows? Maybe there is. Uh, we can try that out. Let's run it. So we're going to say that we want to run all of our science again. High urban Kerbal. Oh, really? Star Lab is... Oh, it's an invalid location for that. Really? We can't run any radiation study data on the sun? I guess not. Kerbal is not researchable. Uh, at least not with these parts. Okay, cool. I can't close that thing. All right. Uh, so... With us being where we are, we want to now go down here. And you can see where A and B is. We could actually do this on the descending node or the ascending node to be the best place to do it. Because then we don't have to worry about inclination. At this particular spot, we are already matching. So we don't have to change inclination at this spot if the maneuver can lead to us getting an encounter. If I bring this back a little bit more, no, nope. I need to go prograde more. What do I got to do here? One A, one B is the, excuse me. That's not where that is. No, no way, man. One A, one two A. I know we had a good encounter. What's what's happening with that? Maybe we go Weird. It's not giving me the encounter anymore. 1A and 2... 1A and 1B. The way that's looking, it's almost like we're not going to get anywhere close to Eve, which is totally wrong. It's completely wrong. We're so close to it right now, there's just no way that doesn't 
There's no way that's like that. Why are you changing to... That doesn't make any sense. Right now, it's 1A, 1B right there. We're super close already. 1A, 1B. You're telling me just by making this maneuver entirely right there, just by making the maneuver plan, now Eve is over here? That just doesn't make any sense. Maneuvers are being really finicky in this game. I don't like it. Oh, you know what it is? Oh, I know what it is. I know. So I'm sorry. I know what it is. Um, the maneuver. Okay. This is behind us. I need to make it. We're going this way still. <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, so I need to make this uh, forward. Yeah, yeah. So I need to make this maneuver in the future. That is a requirement. So let's make it. And I mean, th that's in the future too, but it's uh, it's like a very distant future. We need it to be here. All right. That makes way more sense. Let's go retrograde a little bit more. And we should get any minute now. Really? So we need to adjust this. I guess it would be looking at it. it needs to be inward. There we go. Right there. So let me get a focus on Eve. And this puts us pretty dang good. I would like an equatorial. Uh, I don't know if it's biome specific stuff though. I mean, we could maybe like over time get every biome if we're uh, patient enough by going in at this angle. Maybe that's all right. I think it's, I think it's okay. We want to bring it in just like this. Look at that. Just, oh, that does orbital, those effects though. It just, oh yeah, that's going to slow us down a lot. All right. So this brings us into what? A hundred and uh, 340 kilometers. Not nearly close enough. Let's bring us in even more. Uh-huh. Right there. That's 155. I think that's like right above Eve. I think the atmosphere here is like 120 or something. Maybe it's 90. I forget what it is, but. I'm pretty sure 155 is safe. And then uh, if we want to aero break, which we do, just we want to aero break very lightly. But if we want to aero break, we can always go a little bit further than this. So let's point towards the maneuver now. It's going to take us a little bit of maneuvering to get there, but it'll be very easy to get orbit. And you know what? Maybe if it's not too much trouble, we could try to get ourselves in the same plane as Gilly. Just for the sake of like getting the flyby and stuff, right? We could look to do that. Um, if we were going to do that, we would need to um, come in at a different angle here. We would need to... Uh, it needs to be the other way, doesn't it? Yeah. Actually, Gilly is... Oh, Gilly is actually way off from where we are. You know what? I'm all right with not matching up with Gilly. I think I'm okay with that. So we'll get into like 162. I think 103. That's a polar orbit, man. We're going to have a polar station. I just don't want a polar station. I'm, I'm sorry. I just don't want that. All right. I'm going to take this one right here. It took me a little bit of tinkering, but I'm going to get this. It's not equatorial, but it's an inclination I think I can work with. And uh, it's far enough out. I think over here, it's far enough away from Eve uh, at the equator to where I could adjust this. I think and reasonably get an equatorial orbit. So I'm going to run with this one. Uh, the one question I don't know is whether or not I'm going to be coming in. Like, is this the way in or which way is the way in? Which way is the way out? I can't tell that here. I really want more information here. They need to. Well, actually, I can. All right. It's the direction that these are going, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is out. And this is in. Because the direction of the circles are going. So we're going to approach from this side. And that gives me an equatorial orbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's prograde. Okay. So we'll then want to burn that way to get captured from there. So that's what we're going to do. This burn takes place in just over a day. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and figure that out. Yeah, it's just over a day. It's over there. Uh, okay, so time acceleration. Here we go. And again, we're we still have plenty of time for that jewel one. That was like twenty something days away. So 
But this is why I was thinking of like getting that uh, that mod for the alarm clock. I think that's a really good idea, that alarm clock mod. All right, here we are. 30 seconds to the burn. It says it's a one second burn. Uh, we're going to go light. <laughs> Forgot about the thrust and stuff, but uh, to limit my thrust, but it's okay. We're just going to go really light. We're not going to go full blast. And we can probably do this now. I don't think a 17 second period of time is going to change a whole lot about this, but uh, we could probably just do it like right. It's 57 meters per second. So we can do this right now, just a little bit. Is it not running? Are we, is it not doing it? It is, but it's not having an impact. Wait, what? It's not having an impact. Wait a minute. Why? Why isn't that working? Um, I don't see anything with the orbit happening. We're just burning fuel for nothing. Nothing's happening. We're stuck in place. That periapsis is not moving. What? That doesn't make any sense. I'm so lost right now. Why is this? I'm reloading that. That's bullshit. <laughs> what the heck? All right. Reloaded it and I uh, had to reset my orbit and stuff too. So uh, we're coming in pretty much the same as we were before. Our periapsis would be about 85 kilometers if I hit the burn exactly as designed. So it's at 56 meters per second of Delta V. <clears throat> So uh, let's try this again and see if that, well, see if it does it to me again. I'm not sure why. The only thing I can think of here is maybe I'm burning, somehow burning like back into Kerbin's sphere of influence. That doesn't make any sense, but if I, cause Kerbin's going away from me here. So I don't think that's possible. Uh, so we're right here. Uh, we got two minutes to go. Let's just get a little closer if we could, please. There we go. And then uh, we're aiming basically aiming retrograde so there's no way that's happening because we're burning that direction so no we can't possibly be doing that so uh, i am gonna try this again this time i need to i'm gonna focus on eve still but i want to take a look at kerbal's periapsis here to make sure that's actually moving as soon as i hit the i hit the gas here so we want to go a little bit there it's moving now that's what we wanted to see so we're definitely focusing on Eve. We're going to bring right in here. We can actually see the burn declining here, just, or bringing it in here like this. And stop. A little bit stop. A little bit stop. Um, I would say we're right on the money, but um, we do want to be in the atmosphere. I think that's close enough, though, to where I can go in and just, like, limit my thrust to, like, 2% or something like that, right? And then... Uh, real quick go back to Eve God, I gotta go all the way back there I need to seem to remember what I'm what I wanted and then uh let's go in and go yeah like that so periaps is gonna be at 84 kilometers I think that's probably pretty good that dips us into the atmosphere slightly and we don't want to get in the atmosphere too deep not on Eve Eve's got like a five times dense atmosphere compared to Kerbin so we don't want to go too deep. I'm thinking 84 is plenty. And we can also burn our engines here too to uh, get get in orbit. We're not going to have the same plane as Gilly, but I don't think that's a big deal. One of the reasons why I wanted to get the same plane as Gilly is because it's inclined so we can still get over pretty much every biome. And if I had a station that was matched up with Gilly, it means that any craft that I dock to the station can easily transfer to Gilly. So I'm going to look at maybe doing that, but like the way we're coming in, that's going to be pretty expensive. Luckily, we've got 2,300 meters per second remaining in this stage. So we're more than able to adjust this accordingly. Okay, so uh, that's that. We're going to make sure that we're going to have plenty of solar coverage along the way. And indeed we are. We've got no problems with that. Very good. Say bye-bye to our station for now. And uh, we're going to go back over to Jewel and I'm just going to wrap up and get the remainder of that science over there. So Jewel sat one control. 
uh, yeah, control, jewel, focus. Uh-huh, or it should be over here now, thank you. And, uh, long time left to get over to jewel here, so uh, let's go ahead and just warp to this point. All the moons just zipping around. It takes so long to get over there, it's crazy. I'm always surprised by that. How you can be in orbit of something and just like everything else around you is just moving super fast compared to you. It's crazy. But I mean, I understand it. But even when you understand it, you think about it, you're just like, man, that is actually pretty nuts. That's how I am anyway. We want to face prograde here. And we should be able to get the final steps of this experiment. We should be able to get the final little bit of science here, I think. And then we can uh, call it a day on our adventures for today. Yeah. 245, 240 is pretty close. All right, let's go ahead and let the thing, the thing move over. I think we only got like 25 or so seconds left in this experiment. So this is the Northern Tropic that we did before. And we're looking for uh, equator, which happens around 194. So I'll just get ready to hit it. I do wish it would continue, like pick up where it left off and, and just do that automatically, but it doesn't do that. There we go. So 19 seconds remaining in our equator study. And we're going to have a boatload of science to report and transmit back at that point. Still 5,000 science from the samples. And I imagine the samples of this are going to be, you know, pretty good too, I would think. Northern Tropic, and then of course there's going to be a Southern Tropic as well, right? Yeah, look at that. 10, 000, over 10,000 science in samples on this probe. We do not want this probe to explode. We do not want this probe to explode. Wow, what a cool probe this is. We want to go uh, find this probe, and uh, we want to get Kerbals over here to just get all the science from this probe. <laughs> that would be crazy. Uh, yeah, definitely want to transmit. Let's uh, make sure we get our solar panels out again. Uh, we could just do that with this button here. There we go. And then uh, we want to transmit all, baby. That's what we're going to do. Transmit it all. Another 2,160 science. And then, and this isn't even getting the atmosphere data or the, the radiation data and like all that stuff. We still have to do all that stuff too. So I got to get that going. So if I wanted to, of course, get orbit from Jewel, I need to, I need to pass like several more times to get this to come back naturally. And I do want to do that because I, I would like to get a controlled orbit around here to where we can rendezvous with this thing a little easier. And I think it would also be a good idea at some point anyway, to uh, change my inclination if possible. And I think doing that about what, let's say, uh, let's, let's say late is the target. So right about here is where we would want to do that. If we were going to change our inclination, we would do it here. This is the descent. This is the ascending node. So we want to burn down. And that's probably going to cost me most of my fuel. Yeah, it's most of my fuel to correct that. But we could get, we can get equatorial here, or at least pretty close to an equatorial orbit that matches up with lathe. That is possible to do. And at that point, uh, Well, at that point, we definitely can't get the southern, right? We want to be able to get the the, the southern tropics as well, of course. Right? I'm getting a little greedy if I do that. Uh, if I wanted to get the southern tropics, I would have to change. Like, I'd have to pivot everything to where we went. Because, like, right here is the northern tropics because we're in the northern half. And then the equator. And then I'm going to assume the southern tropics is, is, of course, down here. And so we have to be in the atmosphere over here. So that requires us to, like, pivot this orbit around. And it might be a little extra work. I don't know if we have the fuel for that. What I do know is that I can absolutely circularize this and spend no fuel doing so. But as soon as I do that, it's going to be harder for me to get equatorial. So I, th I think I still want to get equatorial. We're going to go on the ascending node and do it there because uh, it's further away. So we'll descend. We'll get it to where we match up with, with Lath. Because I think Lath is pretty much equatorial. 
sure, it certainly does look like it. So yeah. Uh, and then from there, our new jewel periapsis, once we do that, will be quite far away. So we'll want to get ourselves back in the atmosphere as well. Uh, and that might be a little tricky. Oh, indeed it will be. Well, we're going to go around a couple more times, I think, here. But I'll do that off camera. You guys don't have to see that. So in the next video, we're going to have this done, I think. Every orbit is taking me less and less time. So this is now 23 days away. If I wanted to take a look and see when does our encounter with, with Eve, when does the Eve encounter start? Right? When does that begin? So if I control this vessel now... Our Eve periapsis, or our encounter, is, is on the on the front side of this. So it's on the way out, not on the way back. So it's going to be near side. And that encounter will happen at about 136 days away. So I can orbit Joule about five-ish more times, assuming we slow down at the standard pace. I could probably orbit Joule maybe seven or eight more times before we get to Eve. Or I can just install my alarm clock <laughs> that I know. So I think I'll probably go for the Kerbal alarm clock uh, after this video. And then uh, we'll have, uh, hopefully, all these maneuvers and stuff will be in the alarm clock. Okay? Thank you for watching, everybody. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, please give those videos a likes. Uh, it helps out those videos a lot. Please comment down below. And special thank you, of course, also to all those people with their name on the right side of the screen. You guys are making this stuff possible. You're helping me pay for daycare so I can make more videos for you. Members, I appreciate you. If you're interested in supporting this channel and becoming a member, it's the big join button down below. All right. And you get access to videos early by doing that too. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.